Hey everyone, I'm Sarah. And I'm Brandon. And, and this, this is, is Fish or Price, Price Ranch. Ranch. Welcome back. I'm Sarah with Fisher Price Ranch. First off, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. So, um, in the previous video, I mentioned that we were having some problems with the rabbit's eyes. So, I wanted to elaborate on that and what we we're trying to do to fix the problem. So, um, our last set of all the babies, we didn't have a single eye problem. And then all of a sudden, I know the one I kind of blamed it on, we had single digits, so I didn't want to clean out the hair yet. Um, but then the other ones, we cleaned them out early, but they still got um, little eye infections. And so it got me thinking because I've been treating them and they weren't getting better. And normally they get better pretty quickly. Well, um, we are using wooden nest boxes and I'm thinking the wood is holding the bacteria. Um, when I raised rabbits before, I had always used plastic totes. So we switched. Um, so anyway, now I'll show you what we're using now. Temporarily, I'll get something a little bit better down the road. Um, but I'm hoping this is going to help. And I cleaned the rabbit's eyes that have the problem yesterday really well. I scrubbed them uh, squeaky clean. And uh, we use colloidal silver in the eye. If you guys have watched my other videos, um, the when we had problems with the eyes on our goats about two years ago, uh, we used colloidal silver and it cleared them right up. Uh, even ones that were already starting to ulcerate, um, those ones were clear. You can't even see a scar on the eye. So colloidal silver does amazing. Uh, I use it for quite a bit of stuff. But um, So that's what we're treating the baby bunny's eyes with. Um, I know back in the day when I raised rabbits before, we used to put a drop of penicillin directly in the eye. Uh, I think some people still do that. I don't know, um, but we use colloidal silver. So anyway, I'll show you the new nest boxes. Actually, first I'll show you the old ones. So you threw them all over here. They're going to go right into the fire pit. Um, but this was their old nest boxes that we were using. And I would clean everything out, scrape them. Um, but you can't exactly like clean wood because it absorbs into the fibers of the wood or whatever the pores of the wood. Um, so anyway, we pulled those and then I went and I picked up these baskets. Um, they're pretty good size as you can see compared to my hand. Um, I'm going to say they're probably 14 inches long by 10 or 12 inches wide. So they're pretty good sized um, and they'll get nice little bits of air in there, but the hay will, um, you know, kind of seal any air from getting out. But anyway, once we're done, we can pull these out and actually wash them with soap and water. Um, so anyway, what I've done is the ones that still kind of need a nest box, which these ones are kind of showing me that they may not need a nest box anymore because <laughs> look at how they're all snuggled up with mom. Um, <clears throat> so I may actually go ahead and just pull this nest box out. Um, but anyway, so their eyes, their eyes only opened not even a week ago, but yeah, see this one already is trying to seal shut again. So I'm treating them twice a day and um, the eye itself actually looks pretty good on this litter because they haven't been um, infected very long. And they, just from cleaning them yesterday, their eyes are already way better um, because they're only sealed just ever so slightly. And not all of them have it. So like, as you can see this one, she's just fine. She has a little, crust in the corner of her eye, which I already cleaned it out and put drops in it. Um, but the white ones, for whatever reason, uh, both eyes are affected on the white ones. So we'll get these cleaned up real quick and I'll show you what they look like. All right. So got them nice and clean and actually, Hey, calm down, calm down. Um, this eye was not sealed shut. Uh, I think this one's a he just had it closed. So they're just a little bit sore. Um, so they're not keeping them open, but I'm, they already look way better. This morning they were dark red because they were so irritated. And now they're just, for whatever reason, my phone is making it darker than it actually is, <coughs> but they're looking a lot better already. So I think they'll 
be uh, cleaned up here hopefully within another day or so. Hey everyone, so it's been quite a few days since um, we started treating the rabbit's eyes. Um, the ones that Miss Sandy have got so bad, so I decided to go ahead and do the old fashion penicillin in the eye and it made a huge difference overnight um but these other guys in this first pen with miss steel uh they were treated with the uh, colloidal silver and their eyes have been open for a few days now and um there's still a little bit of cloudiness on the eyeball itself but all that crust and everything that was sealing the eyes shut is all gone so now it's just basically giving them time to heal hi everybody how we doing, huh? So, come here. Hi, bud. Come here. Come here. All right, so that was the good eye. I know, I'm holding you funny. I'm gonna scruff you just for a minute. So that was the good eye. And then this is the one, hey, 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 hey. This is the one, so as you can see, the eye itself is still cloudy, um, but it hasn't been sealed shut for quite a few days now, and so the hair is healing around the eye. And then same with this one here. This eye's good. This eye, as you can see, the hair is healing um, where it was all irritated, but the eyeball itself still needs a little bit of time. But other than that, these guys are all doing great. Um, and then the same thing happened in this pen here. Let me get this one shut. This <coughs> excuse me, this little one here had it in both eyes and hers were really bad but look at that hers has just a tiny little dot left yeah it's okay it's okay just a tiny little dot left but hers is pretty much healed this side I think is a little bit cloudier but not much worse so she's almost healed as well so they're doing really really good and so what we did is I assumed after thinking about it, that it was the nest boxes. And so um, we'll find out basically with this litter here. This litter, we just cleaned out the nest box. This is Kikyo's litter uh, with Jininji. And uh, their eyes are just starting to open. So we're gonna see, I put them in the plastic tote um, basket thing. So that way it's easily cleaned. And uh, we'll see if it makes a difference in the eyes. All right, and then here is Miss Sandy's litter. They were the ones that had it the worst, I think. Um, now, the eyes have not been sealed shut for a couple days, but there's still some swelling. Um, this one never had a problem. She's okay. Are you guys crawling around? Um, but you can see the eyelids are still a little bit puffy. They're still a little bit swollen. Um, but this guy here... He had it really bad in both eyes. That one's still swollen, but look at this eye. This eye's doing a lot better. Um, he doesn't want to look at me. Hey, bud. Um, so anyway, we're going to go ahead and treat them again with the penicillin in the eye and hope that, you know, another day or two they should be doing a lot better. All right, you guys. So I hate seeing the bunnies like that. Um, I don't think I've dealt with eye issues in rabbits in years. So the only common change that I found with all the bunnies was those nest boxes that we used after they were used once then after that it was just like everybody was getting eye problems so I'm hoping that we fixed it like I said we'll find out with Kikyo's litter um, if we have any problems I'll probably they're about nine or ten days old so I'm gonna go ahead and check each one of them make sure the eyes are open there's no crust nothing is sealed shut um, and then hopefully we'll just keep it nice from here on out and won't have any problems. Um, I feel really bad for the bunnies that have the eye problems. The good thing is, is like I said, those three look great. They're pretty much healed other than a little bit of fogginess on the eyeball itself. Um, but that should hopefully clear up a little bit more over time. Um, some of them may not clear it. They could end up being blind in the one eye. Um, so we'll see. But the other three, the eyelids, are still a little bit swollen but like I said they were the worst of everybody and so anyway hopefully the swelling will go down in another day or two and they'll be on the mend so anyway thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you again soon